Video number three. I was asked by a couple of meteorite guys to get out in the sun, even though it's an overcast day. And I wanted to show a couple of these meteorites that are what I suspect as meteorites. This particular pair right here used to be one, and uh, a buddy of mine had a has a big commercial saw and had cut them in half and I can't really zoom in I don't believe let's see if I can nope can't zoom in but there's a it's iron it's very magnetic and uh, got this uh, cut we did a while back but that's what we've got and this cut here right there so that's those and this one here this is the one that is really something to me it's that little guy and this one here has got a story behind it this one I actually found about five miles from where I found this uh, this big one right over there and I messed up I didn't know anything about meteorites I still don't but this has got uh, you know these thumbprint looking things here but this one had a crust caked around it and I'd actually chipped it off before I knew what I was doing it had a it looked like a great big uh, uh, goose egg it was all round but it was hidden so I, I chipped this off and find out that it was uh, all little rocks and clay and all kinds of stuff that was just just like this thing had superheated it all and it kind of melted to it but you know from what I understand it shouldn't have been hot when it had impact but um, very heavy between 4.7 and 4.9 pounds but I chipped all that off I went back now this was three years ago that I found this one I went back to where I chipped that off and I had used a big rock uh, uh, big 10 foot ball, tall boulder that I was sitting on and lo and behold all that stuff I chipped off of this was there and I bagged it up and it's sitting in my Jeep so I have all the stuff I chipped off of this it's just you know and it's all layered rock and everything so this one this one here I don't believe to be in the same family as that but this is uh, 4.7 to 4.9 pounds and and uh, you know like I said it's got these dimples in it and and uh, it's just a beautiful specimen and uh, it's got the rust color it's heavy so it's that one so at the advice of uh, uh, viewers I just wanted to come out here and try in the silvercast day show all of these specimens off to you these were sitting on blonde sand uh, or blonde dirt and so I could easily walk right up to them and say oh look that looks like a piece of charcoal hit it with a magnet suck it right up that's what I did with those and you know here's another one that looked like a charcoal briquette sitting on the sitting on the uh, uh, top of that blonde dirt and like I said yesterday, I'm going to grab the magnet here as I approach. There we go. So these are all like that. And this, you can hear that. So, and even the ones that I cut, even sideways. So. Anyway, there we go. Let me know.